I've reviewed basically two versions of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. One was a written review for the original on the website. The other was the collector's edition from Screen Factory. Now I have from Warner Archive Collection, Body Snatchers, The Invasion Continues, which is another pretty much retelling of the same story, although this one apparently stays more closer to the source material, and I would say this one is nowhere near as strong as the other two. We basically follow a girl, and she's kind of upset because her dad's married to a new woman, and then she's got a half-brother, and they're going to a military base because he's a scientist, and he's supposed to do scientist things. Well, they end up being there, and almost immediately things go crazy, and it, it basically takes the widespread terror and confusion that you had in the original two Body Snatcher films and tries to compact it down to a more localized military base, you know, enclosed feel. Complete with Forrest Whitaker overacting, and uh, the chick that was in Halloween four and five, not not you know not the one that played Jamie, but the one that played her her, her sister, you know the blonde. I can't think of her name. She's in this as well, and uh, I don't know, man. You know I'm kind of torn on it. it. It's okay. It does some effects here and there that are pretty decent, but it doesn't even do that as good. I don't think as the original couple films that I reviewed did. Uh, this one here doesn't have any extras. I think it's got a trailer, that's about it. Um, pretty plain Jane. Although Mick Tilly gives a pretty good performance, I will say that much. She does a pretty good job in her performance. Um, everything else is kind of interchangeable, replaceable, or dull. So, if I wanted to sum this one up in one line, I could tell you that you've seen this done better, not once, but twice before. But, if you want to give it a chance, and you want to be a completist like I am, and own all of the ones in that series, then... You're going to have to get Body Snatchers, which is now a new-ish release from Warner Brothers and their archive series. Like I said, nothing special here as far as extra goes. Nothing really special here, in my opinion, as far as the film goes. But, hey, I'm, you know, gluten for punishment, I guess you could say. And it's not the worst film. I, I don't want to make it sound like it's the worst film you're going to see. But it's definitely the weakest of those. And it's probably pretty weak for its time as well. So that's Body Snatchers.